West Suburban Police stopped the burglary in process this morning, leading to a police pursuit on the Eisenhower Expressway. They got two suspects with help from technology. WGN's Dana Rebick is live in Oak Brook with details. Dana. Well, Oak Brook police tell us that they are using this new technology. Uh, it is a GPS dart tracking system on almost a weekly basis. Other suburban departments like Elmhurst and Willowbrook are using it as well. And now some Chicago aldermen would like CPD to utilize it. All right, good hit, good hit, good hit. It's a small device that's making a big difference in police pursuits. If you would have told me I started 24 years ago that we'd be shooting GPS darts out of the front of the squad car, I would have said that you're crazy, you know, but technology is advancing so much, especially in law enforcement, that it's just, it's amazing to see where we've come. Around 445 this morning, officers in Oak Park arrested two suspects who fled from Elmhurst on I-290 after breaking into a liquor store. Elmhurst from Oak Park, I'm right here with a star chase if you'd like me to try to plug in. Neighboring police agencies were alerted and an officer from Oak Brook was able to get behind the fleeing vehicle, deploying a GPS tracking dart called Star Chase. And an officer presses a button and it heats up an epoxy for the actual dart. Um, that dart has a GPS tracking device inside of it and also has a very strong magnet um, that shoots out of the front of the bumper of the squad car and affixes itself to the back of the fleeing vehicle. The officer can then back off, pull up a computer screen and track the location location of the car being pursued. All right, I'm showing 70 miles an hour at Oak Park. In this case, that information was relayed to Oak Park Police after the vehicle exited at Austin, leading to the suspect's arrest. We can stop police pursuit sooner, keep the motoring public safer while still apprehending dangerous criminals. Approaching the line. Yes, he's going the wrong way on the expressway. In 2020, a pursuit from the south suburbs ended in a deadly crash on Chicago's north side, resulting in the death of an innocent bystander. It led to changes to CPD's police pursuit policy. Our tax sergeant just testified at a council meeting for Chicago and uh, talked about the benefits and the successes that we've had. And there was some discussion relating to uh, first implementing them on some specialized units. They're all very impressed with, with that technology. The police and fire committee interested in Chicago police potentially using the technology. Each unit costs about $7,000. If they put them on, you know, 100 cars and it costs us $70,000 um, and we save a lot of money because of it, then it was well worth it. You know, one settlement, we don't have, we don't have many settlements that are like in the, in the tens or the 20,000s. And of course we only get stuff 100,000 or more. WGN investigates found between 2015 to 2020, the city of Chicago shelled out nearly $100 million in settlements resulting from police pursuit crashes. We did reach out to Chicago police for comment on this star chase system, but so far have not heard back. Live in Oak Brook, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.